Yeah, Colorado Can, we're up here again. And what are we gonna do? We're gonna hike on a trail. Super stoked. Get up, get out. Ow! So now we're out. We've made a few miles tonight. We didn't start today until about, what was it, 4 o'clock or 4.30. And it is beautiful out here. It's been raining for days. We're in September, so the temperature is a lot nicer and cooler out here. And we're gonna gain some elevation uh, tomorrow night. We're gonna start doing this summit and it's gonna be quite a bit colder up there. And we're gonna show you that area. It's a beautiful mountain uh, and a lake called Columbine Lake. But I think that mountain is like 13,400 feet or something. It's just beautiful out here today. Good morning. We had an awesome camp last night. Found a sweet spot by the river. Yesterday we hiked about just three or four miles. Starting it out, started late. And this morning, it's 9.30 already. We're on the trail and the sun hasn't even hit us yet. We're gonna try to make some decent miles today. 12 miles. We're, there's a possibility that we're gonna try to get up to this lake, camp at like 12,300 feet, and it's September. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Made it up to the second bridge now. This place is absolutely gorgeous. Now we're heading up. We've gone over all the bridges that there's gonna be. Now it's just r little river crossings. We're gonna have to get across that. The trail is over there on the other side. And instead of getting your shoes wet, which you could do if you wanted, what we generally do is uh, change out to like Crocs, things like this that will help you uh, get across the water without getting too wet. Made the river crossing pretty chilly in the water. Now we got Colin the Sparrow coming back over. And that's the way it's done.
like see how that's all steep in, right there and then right here it opens up and it gets kind of flat right before you make that big turn up the vert so what we're doing is trying to plan out our next camp spot so here we are we've made it up to a certain distance i have no idea where this is our campsite right here that we chose we're, we're pretty high up here and this one is uh colin's tent right there he's in there colin what elevation are we at 10,400 10,400 feet he says from behind the canvas got his chair there's my tent right there now what this is is a z-pax tent and i've got my full setup in here this is my beautiful enlightened equipment uh sleeping bag there i got my pillow i love this little tent this is how it's set up good morning this is day number uh let's see here i guess three or something basically this morning it's all uphill we got about six miles five miles i think actually of going uphill got to get this 2,000 feet of vert happening this morning get to the top of this peak man what a beautiful morning it is we woke up this morning and there was just we were surrounded by cliffs and uh and beauty so we are off heading it up we're trying to make it to the top of the peak and over and down through chicago basin so that's where we are going of course we started at biocito lake went through johnson creek and now we're on about to hit up the peak and i'll show you the top of that mountain when we get there We're headed that way. Look at that cliff. Woo. Eating a snack. How's it going? <laughs> and we're off. That mountain right there is the one that we're going up. I believe. We've got to get up and over the saddle. I think the top of it is 13,000. I should probably look. It's 13,200 or 13,400 feet or something. Which is a nice little elevation. It's perfect. But now we're in this open valley, as you can see behind me. Well, there's the sparrow right there. How's it going, the sparrow? Good, good, good. We've almost made it up to Columbine Lake for lunch. This is it right here. Good job, buddy. Good job. Made it to the lake. We're still not at the top, though. The top is up there, but we're gonna do some lunch at this beautiful Columbine, Columbine Lake. We made it to the top, <laughs> and that's the lake right there that we were just at, which is Columbine Lake. 
looks sweet epic view nice craggy mountains over there got a and we are gonna head that direction up over and down through chicago basin yeah so we came down around this corner and we see this this is the durango housing market this house right here is worth six hundred and fifty thousand dollars bam oh it just got sold just got sold there was a bidding war wow there's a cave right there It's cool to look inside of caves there and you can go explore them a little bit But you never know if there's a bear But really the most important thing is that you can't get down in there and this carbon monoxide comes out of the ground And it has like toxic fumes. So I try not to vent venture too far down those caves unless I have the proper equipment We made it up and over had a good descent so far and we just hit tree line this is kind of what this is looking like this is tree line now a lot of these trees have died from beetle kill but you still got some healthy ones like these little guys here and this has just been a, a wonderfully perfect hike as far as weather and planning and camping and all, everything else couldn't ask for a better time this is why we get up and we get out. Ow! Good morning. Today is Labor Day, which is the last day of our trip. We've done, uh, you know, 25 miles or so. We have seven more miles to go to get to Purgatory, and that's through Purgatory Flats. So that's today. We're taking our time this morning, chilling out and, and uh, picking up camp. But I want to show you what our camp looked like last night. So this is our fire, which we started this morning. And it was nice. Got my chair. The tent is right there. That's my tent. And it's right next to a river. And this is a beautiful little stream here, a creek. You got Collins' tent right there, and he's packing everything up, getting his gear going. This is the bridge. So we just came from this direction over this bridge, and we're gonna head down and uh, head out to purgatory and try to find a hamburger so we're headed out seven miles to get to purgy's restaurant at purgatory to get a burger and a beer how you feeling colin good man how you doing doing good good you can kind of see the train coming through those trees that's the durango silverton narrow gauge railroad
Awesome. We made it to here. We're at the creek crossing, headed to Purgatory Flats. We are making our way rapidly to Burgers. We've started the big climb out from the river, headed up to Purgatory. It's a lot of vert. Pretty beautiful trail though. This is kind of what it's looking like. It's got big massive cliffs all over the place. Made it. I gotta tell you, that last set of hills is a doozy. Woo! Man, almost wiped me out on the way up there, but this is where we are. Went in Minute's Wilderness, headed off to Purgatory, which is just right up there a little ways. Super stoked. Excellent hike, excellent backpacking trip. I think we did 35 miles in three days. Woo! Ready for a burger. Burger and a beer. Try to find a hamburger. So we are making our way rapidly to burgers. Ready for a burger. Mm. Burger. A hamburger. Burger. Burgers. A hamburger. Fully gorging myself on these burgers. Mm. Mm. 